Hello and welcome to Amis training videos. In this video we will try to explain you how to prepare Amis for first time use and, and, and how to actually start using it. Right now we are trying to connect to our data center in Istanbul. There comes a splash window and there comes a database selection window. Since this is a demo demonstration, we select the MS Demo Database. We enter our default credentials, which are admin and admin. It's trying to identify the credentials. And there comes a main page of MS Client. So, the first thing to do is to give or check the definitions. The configuration part is now. So we select definition menu and the period submenu and the year submenu. And we see here a couple of year set, uh, years, year records, or rather. If this, for example, we have 2009 to 2010 year with the uh, start and end dates as you see. So if these are suitable for you, you can leave it or you can add your own like this and write something here. After that, Suppose we have just created year and now we should uh, enter the terms for for the year we entered. So suppose we have entered 2009 to 2010 year. So uh, now we enter the terms. I, I added before four terms just to save time also with start and end dates and total study days uh, this means how many study days are included in in the term and as you see it's totally configurable you can enter uh, as much as you desire maybe you have trimester or semester or four terms and so on so there must be uh, some kind of validation uh, during during entering the start and end dates. Start date must be terms first term start date must be greater greater than the start date of the year and the last end date of the last term must be less than the end date of the year specified. And of course, end date of the current term must be greater than, the, greater than the start date. So we're done with the period configurations. Now we go to school configuration. And we can start from lessons. Here you uh, enter all the lessons that are included in your, in your school or in your education system uh, you can use the program in either one or multi-language that is three in three languages right now we use three languages as as English and other two so as you can see you can put or enter add all the lessons in your school from here after that, you enter the levels, or some say courses, six courses, seven, seven, and so on. After that, we enter classes for specific courses, or groups for specific levels. For example, in course or level six, uh, we have or you have in your school 
two classes a b and english branch it for example add, let's add new one for example 6c we define his teacher here associate director and the tutor and specify that the, this class will be a normal class or branch it for example with some specific branching scientific or humanitarian let's leave it as a normal one so after saving uh, uh, you must apply click on the apply button to save the change to the database so as you can see I already entered some records classes so that you can use the program so, the, so that you can see the program in use okay now let's go on and we have a school information here here comes a school code uh, short names in three language school name in three language the director and other related data address logo as you can see this logo is seen here and in reports of course so let's continue you can put uh, or enter this kind of information here like citizenship, citizenship jobs director teacher and so on nationalities language and address information you define here so that you do not write every time in other windows so you you enter here define here and in other parts you just select the appropriate ones and so on you see here parent information we don't have parents parent type like this so where are the actual students we go to data insert students menu and we select some class and there goes our students this is the list of students of class 6a and here we have the detailed information about him like his coat uh, gender and so on photos passwords and address And this way you may you may wonder how to import all the students for example you can you can add one student from here like add one student enter code gender name and the student